I want to explore a bit more. Please be regular spiders and not fucked up spiders. If I get more iron, I'll just replace this with an iron door, but for now it's good, I think. Clay and emerald stone, wow. Nice loot, bro. Where does your self-worth come from? I think when it comes to self-worth, we get influenced by external influences a lot. But ultimately, you know, the thing that determines your self-worth is gonna be you. Because only you can say what you would find uh, worthy and what works for you. Self-worth isn't necessarily tied to what you succeed in life and what you've done in life thus far and stuff like that you know i think it's that's that's why it's important to do a lot of self-reflection and to be honest to yourself about yourself because at the end of the day that's how you will recognize and be able to pinpoint what your strengths and weaknesses are and then you will be able to improve on that problem solved beige that is what it comes down to, evaluating your own life and your own choices thus far and what you've done, whether you're happy with that, if not, why, is there a way to change that, all that type of stuff. So I think people overthink self-worth. I think that self-worth is how you feel about your accom your accomplishments and allowing yourself to grow and to succeed because of that. If you recognize your flaws, then you recognize that you have room for improvement. Whoa, I thought this bush was an animal for a second. I was like, whoa. As corny and cringy as it sounds, but that's, that's the truth. You can't find it anywhere else, and you won't find it anywhere else. You gotta learn to face the stuff that you are unhappy about. So tell me what you guys think about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.